Hey up, Meodes, it is Rowy here with a new video for you. This video was recorded literally seconds after I just finished my, you know, frankly awful video about crisps. Uh, in fact, the crisp bag is still there. You can just have to take my word for that. But what I have done, like to make it look like it's a new day or something like that, to make it cunning, I've uh, I've combed my hair the other way because if that worked for like Superman and Clark Kent, then surely it can work for a uh, old Rowy. And uh, yeah. We're going to talk a little bit, very much a little bit, about the Raptor that I've just been on as part of Neon Raptor with the four beer releases which the public voted for. And uh, yeah, but we're going to more about that as, as, as lovely as the Raptor was, and it was lovely, believe you me. I did enjoy being away from my fucking bed for a few nights. I did actually. Um, so uh, yeah, I, um, I went to a few cities and uh, I picked up a few hot sauces while I was there. Because obviously with Wingy Wednesdays, I thought I'd start getting some more sauces and some more condiments. I'm trying to up my spice levels. And as I've already mentioned at, 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 at great length in the last video, this isn't really a beer channel anymore. So I'm probably just going to just talk about beer crisps and hot sauces from now on. Because that's like a good trilogy of things to talk about. And Wings comes under the category of beer and hot sauces. So yeah, so I was in um, Thursday. I went to Cardiff uh, as part of the rap tour. And I went to Pop and Hops, which was absolutely fantastic. I got to meet Trev, who uh, has been a customer of Neon Raptors for a little while. It's the first time I've ever been to Cardiff, which is weird as a Welshman that I've never been to uh, Wales, to, to Wales, that I've never been to Cardiff. Um, and yeah, I, I swung by Tiny Rebel while I was there. It was, uh, no, not for like a club, just as I just went to one of their bars for a beer. And I had a very nice beer from Wylop while I was there. And um, yeah, then I went to Pop and Hops and they did have some hot sauces in. Um, they had this hot sauce in, which I didn't buy from there, but I did. I only didn't buy from there because I got a bit pissed. And so uh, I did see it the next day in, um, well, we'll get to the next day in a minute. So uh, yeah, and so uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll just do that when I get to that one. So yeah, I, I did see this particular hot sauce at Pop and Hops because they do sell hot sauces. Uh, yeah, and uh, I didn't buy it. What, what, a, what a load of old bollocks that was. Yeah, and then so that was that was that was Thursday, Christ. And then on the Friday, I was in Bristol. And I got to see my old mate Loggers, but I arrived quite early, and it was fucking hoying it down in Bristol. It's always fucking raining when I go to Bristol, you know. So apologies that you know the Harbour Festival looks like it got rained off this weekend. That was on me because every time I come to fucking Bristol, it pisses it down. Yeah. So yeah, apologies to the people of Bristol. It was me. It was my, it was my fault. I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have been in Bristol you know, on a date of a festival. But I went to. There's this amazing hot sauce and hot sauce emporium. I don't know the name of the market. It's like this indoor market. It's just up from Brewdog, and it's next to the Rummer Hotel. It's probably got a really famous name, but I don't know. It's this amazing market in the middle of Bristol. It's so amazing. I don't know its name, and it's got this great hot sauce shop in there. Um, I did do a short up there, which like six of you watched, and that was like just some of the hot sauces they had. That place was banging. I always go there whenever I'm in Bristol. I keep on wanting to buy one of their um, do you know those uh, one chip challenges. I'm going to do that one chip challenge one day, and you will literally watch me die on the channel. Actually, that that has probably definitely been that comment has definitely been flagged by YouTube. But you, you you'll watch me burn my mouth out on here. But so I went to this hot hot sauce emporium. And uh, this is the one that I saw that I was meant to pick up from uh, Poppin' Hops. And uh, this is Ginger Beards Preserves. And this is a collaboration with More Beer. And this is Ghost Pepper Fusion. Awesome tasting, award winning craft preserves made by a man with a ginger beard in Bristol, UK. This has got a uh, chili heat hot, hot hotter. So, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's great. It says good with beef burgers, brisket, roast potatoes and stir fries, which probably means it's also going to be good with wings. And is obviously made in collaboration with the Moore Beer Company. And so, yeah, cyan red pepper, oak smoked ghost chili, habanero. Oh, that's like, those are a lot of words that don't work out for me. So, and I think in the place on, because they have their own chili scale in there. I think this might have been an eight or a nine out of ten. So uh, that's, that's going on some wings. Don't worry about that. That's going on some wings. Also from there, I bought from Angry Ghost Pepper Co. Angry Goat? Angry Goat. Angry Goat Pepper Co. This is the Phoenix. I'll do a little, I'm just doing like a little, I can take photos. I didn't realise I could do that. Realize that they, something everyone has always been able to do. I realised the other day. And this is the Phoenix 
and this is a cantaloupe melon and scotch bonnet hot sauce now i have mentioned on here before that for some reason as much as i can't eat or handle chili I seem to be very good with scotch bonnets. I can eat scotch bonnets raw. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna, I don't have to prove it to you. I don't have to prove shit, but I can eat scotch bonnets raw if they're cut into tiny, tiny slivers and they're de-seeded and they're de But um, yeah, and so I believe that Angry Goat Pepper Co, I don't think it's this one, but they are one of the sauces that appear on hot ones. So uh, one of the ones they do, and I think this one might've had an eight, again, eight or maybe nine out of chilies. But terrifyingly, on their own scale, that has a four out of 10. So if the guy at the hot shop, hot sauce shop is giving it an eight or a nine out of 10, and these guys themselves are giving it a four out of 10, I dread to think how spicy it comes. So born from the ashes of gastronomical creativity, we introduce you to the Phoenix. This sauce combines ripe cantaloupe melons with orange blossom honey, citrusy scotch bonnet peppers, the added zing of datil peppers and the creamy smoothness of olive oil. This sauce is sure to resurrect your bland food. Try on wings, pizza, rice, poultry, pork, or fresh fruit. Uh, I'm not gonna put hot sauce on fresh fruit because I'm not a fucking maniac. So I'm not gonna do that. Thank you very much indeed. But yeah, I, I am super looking forward to that. And as I'm sure you can imagine, that's going on some wingies as well. So then on Thursday that night, I was at Sydney and Eden in Bristol. That is one of the bars. Um, so you've got Bottles and Books and you've got Sydney and Eden. And I had actually messaged because Bottles and Books has got a massive selection of hot sauces, including one that I had when I was at Jewel in Manchester, when I was staying at Kev's house, the guy who owns it. He made me a spam butty. Spam butties, by the way, are mwah, with uh, this. This is Melinda's spicy garlic parmesan wing sauce and condiment. It has a two out of five flames. And I tell you what, when I had it on, it was either on a sausage sandwich or a spam butty, and it was fantastic. It was so good. So I am looking forward to getting this on some wingies. Uh, you want fire? That's easy. Anyone can strike a match, but few can strike a balance. A balance where heat and flavour find themselves on equal footing. At Melinda's, we pride ourselves on striking that perfect balance in every sauce we make. Get ready to set your mouth on flavour. Ooh, that's very nice, isn't it? Uh, Melinda's garlic parmesan flavour so balanced they deserve a tightrope act. Creamy parmesan blended with garlic herbs and a little kick of habanero to keep it interesting made the Melinda's way with whole fresh ingredients and the best peppers on the planet for people who care about those kind of things. Try this easy to pair sauce with creamy pastas, sandwiches, salads, pizzas, wings, breadsticks, and on practically everything. Notice that they don't say add it to fresh fruit because they're not psychopaths. So yeah, we'll be having that. And so that was brought along to me very kindly by, um, you know, by Lou, the owner. He actually brought that to me. He gifted me with a few. There was, uh, there's this, which is a, uh, I need the other thing. So Pilutsky. Pilotsky brand dill pickle, dill mustard with garlic. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm go up there. I will probably bung this on some hot dogs at some point. Not going to be putting that on any wings. Don't worry, I'll be putting that on butties and hot dogs. We have got this incredible looking uh, garlic mayonnaise. So from Torchbearer Sauces, uh, all natural. Oh my garlic! It's gluten free. It's garlicky. Accidentally healthy, intentionally delicious. That will also be going on some butties. I don't know if it is a mayonnaise or just a garlic based sauce, which should probably ingredients lime, oil, uh, the silver vinegar, Dijon mustard, water, garlic. Yeah, that just sounds like a lovely uh, sauce. I mean, I sell people on things, I'll probably put it on chips. And then to keep with the, I think he must have known that old Rowie doesn't get his spices too well. So he got me from the garlic farm. This is Vampire Botherer, and this is Fang Melting Sauce, Jalapeno, Lime, Chili, and Garlic. Um, this Transylvanian-inspired hot sauce will take the sting out of Vampire Venom. Fang Melting Garlic Heat with a zingy, zesty jalapeno freshness. So even though it is slightly on the greenish side, it's, that's the one problem with these lights, you can't see the real color of things. There is no way on earth that that is not going on some wings. Don't you worry about that. So then actually that's the rest of my book from there on. So then also from him, 
someone did say in the comments about someone called Tubby Toms. And I did get um, uh, Tubby Toms garlic and herb uh, seasoning for fries. So he did bring me that as well. So these were all from Sydney and Eden and Bottles and Books. And I'm super looking forward to having all of them. And then on the Saturday, I went in the uh, in the AM, I went to Craft Metropolis uh, in, I've forgotten the area, Brixton, well, yeah, Brixton, that sort of area. But yeah, it was absolutely banging. I met Ollie, the owner. He was an absolute mint fella. And Agnes who was behind the bar, was also an absolute fucking legend. And then, uh, they had hot sauces. So yeah, I uh, picked up this from Lazy Scientist. And this is Stockwell Sunshine Hot Sauce with pineapple and turmeric, a bright fruity sauce for all the family, pairs well with fish. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be putting that on any fish, even though I do like fish. There was a rumor going around for many years that Rowie doesn't eat fish. The big lad eats fish. But um, yeah, Stockwell Sunshine Hot Sauce, pineapple water, onion vinegar, scotch bonnet, only two percent oh, okay so that is potentially going to be drinkable if it's only two percent scotch bonnet i mean i'm not going to drink it but like yeah that, that, i look forward to that bloody lovely yellow color on that one as well and then in the evening i went to um well that's the end of the hot sauce part now and then in the evening i went to Michaela Shoreditch, which was banging. That was very, very nice. Met Ellie there and other folks. That was an absolutely banging place. And then came back on the Sunday via Totally Tapped in um, Beeston, which was also great. Got to see Rob and co there, which was absolutely banging. But yeah, that was, it was a video about a hot sauce haul. So uh, yeah, so obviously, if you have any of those you want to see me put on the wings first, let me know. I have already got a list of the things I'm going to be putting on wings, so I'm probably not going to do it. I mean, I will put it, but, well, you know, but let me know which one you want to see the most. Or oh, any hot sauces you want me to pick up. That's like two videos I've recorded back to back, like, and my fridge just made a noise there, so that's probably just went, ruined everything. But yeah, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Throw me a like and subscribe. Uh, oh, see you in a bit, you in a bit, yeah, bye, bye, bye.